Okay, in this um, video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, using timetables and uh, to calculate a range of times and timetables. When we say timetables, we're not talking about the multiplication time t uh, times tables. We're talking about train and bus timetables. Okay, so let's get started. This is uh, an example here of a train timetable, and you can see that uh, it's for trains going from Plymouth to London. So it's obviously in the UK. And these are the stops that the train makes. It stops at Plymouth, Exeter, Tiverton, Taunton, Reading, and London. Okay, And um, these are the times that the train arrives in those places. And you'll notice that there, some of the boxes are empty. That means the train does not stop there. You should also notice something else about the timetable, that all the times are listed in the 24-hour clock time, or otherwise known as military time. So, for example, everything after 1 o'clock is printed as 1304, 1328, 1452, 1524. Okay. Now, um, one immediate question that I can ask you is, why do you think the train timetables use the 24-hour clock and not the AM-PM system. Okay, so you can answer that question, and I will be right back. Okay. The reason we use a 24-hour clock time for train timetables is to help make sure that passengers show up at the correct time. All right? If we were using AM and PM, then it would be very easy for people to confuse, for example, 7.19 AM for 7.19 PM. So people would often show up at the wrong time for their train. Okay. Now, let's suppose um, we needed to get a train uh, from Plymouth, okay, from Plymouth, and we needed to get into Reading before 9 o'clock. Which train do you think I should get on? Should I get on the 6 o'clock train, the 6.55 train, or the 11.47 train, or the... 2109 train. Okay, so again, the question is if I start in Plymouth, okay, and I want to get into Reading before 9 o'clock, which train should I get on? Okay, if you said that I needed to get on the 6 o'clock train uh, in Plymouth in order to get into Reading uh, before 9 o'clock, then you were absolutely correct. Because if you notice here, the 6.55 train leaving Plymouth would not get me into Reading until after 9 o'clock. So if I had a meeting or I had to meet a friend somewhere at 9 o'clock, I would be too late. I would just be getting into Reading uh, half an hour after the uh, time I needed to be there. Okay. Now, another question I have is uh, how long would it take if I got on this train here, if I got on this train... How long would it take me to get to Reading? Okay, so we'll work out that answer and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so if we uh, got on the train at 6 o'clock in the morning and we traveled to Reading and it got us into in at Reading at uh, 8.33, so how long was that journey? Well, this one's pretty simple. All you need to do is take the hours. Look at those. Okay, from 6 to 8 is 2 hours. So it took us 2 hours. And then look at the minutes. So you've got 0 to 33. Well, it's 33 minutes. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Okay. So. Okay, let's suppose I want to get into Taunton. Uh, before, oops, sorry, let's suppose I want to get into Taunton 
uh, before 9 o'clock. I have a choice of arriving at 719 or 817. 1328 is going to be too late, so if I want to be into Taunton by 9 o'clock, uh, it needs to be one of these two trains here. So what time do I need to get on the train in Plymouth in order to get in before 9 o'clock? Okay, have a think about that and then answer the question. Okay, so if I wanted to get to uh, Taunton before 9 o'clock, uh, which train do I need to get on if I'm boarding in Plymouth? Which of these four trains here will get me into Taunton here before 9 o'clock? Okay, have a think about that. Okay, now as I mentioned earlier, these um, these two trains here and this train here do not stop at Tiverton, uh, and therefore they're called uh, fast trains or express trains. But which of these two trains, this one or this one, is actually fastest? Which of these two trains gets me into London from Plymouth faster? Okay, so work that out. Okay, to work out uh, how fast the two trains are, it's fairly simple. Um, all you really need to do is look at the one uh, at Plymouth. It starts at 6 o'clock. Okay, so... Oops. And it arrives in London at 9 o'clock. Okay. The other one... Uh, this one here uh, starts at 6.55. Okay. And it arrives in London at 10.02. Okay. So, this one here is simply a space of three hours. Okay, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so that's simply three hours. This one here, okay, now you might think, oh, well, it's four hours, but actually it's 6.55, which is only five minutes before seven. So if you round it to seven o'clock, okay, round it to seven o'clock, that's three hours, but then there's another five minutes here that you've added on and two minutes here. So it's actually three hours. and seven minutes. Okay, so this one, the first one here, is going to be the fastest one. Okay. Okay, here we have another timetable, which is the Plymouth to London morning service. And I'm just going to ask you um, three questions. Okay, and I'll stop the video and let you answer them, and then I will give you the answer here. Okay, so the first question is, if I started in Plymouth, okay, which train will get me into London uh, before 12 o'clock? Okay, so which train will get me into London before 12 o'clock? The second question is, if I, if I start in Tiverton, which train will get me into Reading uh, after 10 o'clock? If I start in Tiverton, which train will get me into Reading after 11 o'clock? And the third question is, how long does it take to go from Exeter to London if I get on the 849 train. If I go from Exeter to London, how long does it take me to get there? Okay, those are your three questions. Have a work and work them out and I'll go through the answers in a moment. Okay, the first question I asked you was which train would get me from Plymouth to London before 12 o'clock. 
Well, here's Plymouth, and these are the times, 6 o'clock, 6.55, 7.47, and 11.47. And I want to get into London before 12. So here's London, and I'm looking at 9 o'clock, 10.02, 11.25, 15.24. This one is too late. Okay, that's after 12 o'clock. So I have a choice of these three. Okay, so I can, to answer the question, which train do I need to get on? in Plymouth to get into London before 12 o'clock, I can pick any of these three trains here. Okay, so I can get on at 6 o'clock, 6.55, or 7.47 if I want to have a bit of a lion. Okay, so that's the answer to the first one. Okay, and the next question I asked you, uh, which train would get me uh, from Tiverton to Reading after 11 o'clock? Well, here's Tiverton, and you'll notice that there are no trains in the first two slots, so we only have a choice of these two, and we need to get into Reading after 11 o'clock. Okay, so here's Reading, 10.51, 10.51 is before 11 o'clock, so that's no use to us because we have to be into Reading after 11. Okay, so that one's no use to us. So we have to get on this one. So we have to board the train in Tiverton at 13.04 or 1.04 p.m. And it will get us into Reading at 2.52 or 14.52. Okay, so that's the answer to the second one. Okay, so I've uh, written the uh, times from the timetable here. So the first train is 6.55, arrives in London at 9. Second one is 7.52, arrives in London at 10.02. Third one, 8.49, arrives in London at 11.25. And the last one, 12.49, arrives in London at 3.24. Okay, so um, uh, basically... Uh, this one here, we've already kind of worked out, but basically we'll, we'll do it again. Um, we need to remember that this is almost 7 o'clock. Okay, it's almost 7 o'clock. So we can go 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock is 2 hours. Okay, plus the 5 minutes that we ignored gives us 2 hours, 5 minutes. Okay. 7.52, this one here, 7.52 to 10 o'clock. 7.52, again, if we round that to 8 o'clock, because in 8 minutes it would be 8 o'clock. So if we round that to 8 o'clock, we can count on from 8 o'clock to 10, which will be 2 hours. And then we add the 8 minutes here and the 2 minutes here. Okay, so it'll give us 2 hours and 10 minutes. Two hours, oops, two hours and ten minutes. Okay, the next one, 8.49 to 11.25. Again, this is very close to the next hour. This is almost nine o'clock. Okay, it's only 11 minutes before nine o'clock. So what I would do is I would round this to nine o'clock. Count from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock gives me 2 hours plus the 25 minutes gives me 2 hours 25 minutes plus the 10 minutes and sorry the 11 minutes here. Okay? Okay, so. Two hours 36 minutes. Okay. Right, we go on to the next one here, 1249 and 1524. Well, this is exactly the same situation as we had in the other one. We round this one from 1249 to 1300. Okay, we add on 11 minutes, makes it 1300. 1300 to 1500 is two hours. So, We'll write that in. So it's two hours. And then the 49, we uh, round that up. Okay, that's 11 minutes. 
plus 24, 35 minutes. Okay. All right, that's that. Now let's go on to the next one. Okay, this is um, another type of train timetable. This is uh, from Canada. And it is the train traveling from Toronto to Winnipeg to Jasper to Vancouver. So roughly mm, about halfway across the country. You can see here that it starts in Toronto at 10 o'clock. Okay. And it goes through all these cities. Okay. Eventually landing in or ending up in Vancouver uh, at 9.42. Uh, and you can see that it takes four days. Uh, to get there of continuous uh, driving. Okay, so the train does not stop uh, for longer than a few minutes at these stops. In some places it doesn't stop at all. Uh, it just goes right through them. Um, so for example, it's, it doesn't stop at these places. Okay, it stops at these places. So where it says arri AR is arrival, DP is departure. Okay, so for example, it uh, departs uh, Toronto at 10 o'clock, right? It arrives in Capriol um, at 5.38 in the morning and leaves at 6.08 in the morning, arrives in Hong Payne and leaves, arrives at Sioux Lookout and leaves and so on. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you um, a couple of questions about these. And um, hopefully you can help me work them out, okay? Okay, so the uh, first question uh, is how long does it take to go from Toronto to Winnipeg? Well, here's Toronto. They leave at 10 o'clock. And Winnipeg is over here. It's in the next province over, and they arrive at 8 o'clock. Okay, so uh, how long does it take to go from Toronto to Winnipeg? Well, it goes from 10 in the, night, 10 in the evening, and it's traveling all the way until 8 o'clock the next morning. Okay, so if you if you have a little bit of trouble with this, the easiest way is to just count on. So 22 is 10 o'clock at night, 23, 24, that's 12 o'clock. So it's 2 hours plus the 8, that will give you 10 hours. Okay, so it's 10 hours of travel time. 10 hours. Okay, next question is what time does the train arrive in Edmonton? Well, that's pretty straightforward. It's uh, 6.22. Okay. And that's in the morning. And the last question, uh, how long does it take to travel from Rivers, Manitoba, Okay, Rivers, Manitoba. There's Rivers, Manitoba right there. Okay, 14. It travels through Rivers, Manitoba at 14.58, roughly. How long does it take to go from Rivers, Manitoba to Edmonton, Alberta? There's Edmonton, Alberta, and it arrives in Edmonton at 6.22. Okay, but you'll notice this, it goes through Rivers the day, the afternoon before. That's 2.58 in the afternoon, but it doesn't get into Edmonton the next morning at 6.22. So how many hours is that? Okay. Okay, so we started at 14.58 in Rivers. We arrive in Edmonton at 6.22. That's a travel time of 15 hours and 24 minutes. Okay, I hope you found this um, video helpful. If not, please let me know how I can improve it. Okay, good luck.